Bae Sok Ryu, and Choi Sung Hyo, saw Sok Ryu's father's restaurant is under construction. Curious, Sok Ryu wondered aloud what it might become. Let's go in, Choi Sung Hyo suggested. She hesitated, knowing it was no longer her father's place, but he insisted. Inside, Sok Ryu admired the cozy, beautifully designed kitchen. Go ahead, Sung Hyo urged, gesturing toward the kitchen. With a soft smile, he added, this kitchen is for you. The whole restaurant is yours. Sok Ryu was stunned. Sung Hyo explained that her father had come to him, asking for the restaurant to be remodeled, as a gift for his daughter. Moved, Sok Ryu felt a surge of emotion. Sung Hyo continued, now you can cook for someone who needs your food and make them feel comforted. I love this place, Sok Ryu said quietly, her voice filled with warmth. When the remodeling was complete, Sok Ryu's mother asked if she could handle all the work on her own. Don't hesitate to ask your father for help if things get too busy, her mother said. I'll need his help with the menu and management, Sok Ryu admitted, knowing her father's expertise was invaluable. Her father, although quiet, felt a deep happiness. He was thrilled to work alongside his daughter and work again. Determined to open her restaurant, Sok Ryu created an app for the restaurant. Customers could make reservations and input their health information so she could craft meals tailored to their needs. Sung Hyo felt proud of her, watching her take charge of the future. Sok Ryu was equally happy, knowing she was doing something that fulfilled her. In preparation for their wedding, the couple tried on wedding dresses and suits. But unexpectedly, Sok Ryu suggested postponing it for a year. I still have so much to do, she explained. And Jong Mom is still in the South Pole. Plus, we need more time to date. Our relationship was on hold for 30 years. Sung Hyo couldn't argue. Besides, she continued with a smile, someone else should have their wedding first. They organized a beautiful remind wedding for Sung Hyo's parents, inviting all their friends to join the celebration. From afar, Sok Ryu and Sung Hyo watched, filled with gratitude and joy. Thank you for doing this for my parents, Sung Hyo whispered, hugging her tightly before kissing her. Sok Ryu gazed up at him and said, I want to be with you for a long time, just like them. That was my first dream. She revealed how she had liked him first, even when they were young. They kissed again, sealing their moment of love. As episode 16 drew to a close, the couple prepared to visit their future home, but Sok Ryu arrived late, leaving Sung Hyo frustrated. They argued, Sok Ryu upset by how easily he seemed to get angry now. Despite the tension, they made a pact, from then on, whenever they fought, they would hold hands. The hand could only be released once the anger had passed. They walked hand in hand, though in silence. Sok Ryu tried to break the ice, but they soon clashed again. I think we need two beds, she said, still frustrated. But Sung Hyo refused, determined. Only one bed. I want to stay close to you, through everything, when I'm sad, when I'm hot, when I'm annoyed, even when we argue. Sok Ryu's anger slowly faded at his words. All right, she agreed, smiling softly. Let's go see our future home. I want to see it as much as you do. Sung Hyo smiled back and immediately called the construction company. Hand in hand, they continued walking, their frustrations melting away as they looked forward to the life they would build together.